welcome back to my channel. I am on video number four for the evening. I'm totally one of those YouTubers that'll sit down and film as many videos as I can before my like head starts to explode and edit during the week and like upload. So I hope you guys don't mind. I'm not about to like change my outfit and change my makeup to film this video, but I wanted to do this because my good friend Kat tagged me in the New Year's tag video. And she actually filmed this and uploaded January 2nd, so I'm a little bit behind, but I wanted to do this anyway and give a shout out to Kat because she's awesome and she's built an awesome makeup community for herself. So if you guys haven't checked out her channel, definitely do that. And thank you so much, Kat, for tagging me. I'm going to go ahead and leave some people down below as well that can, you know, enjoy this, maybe making this tag. And if you guys do make this tag, definitely let me know. Leave the link in my comments. And of course, if I don't tag you, you're still tagged anyway. You're tagged um, vicariously through me to do this video if it's something that you want to do. I know Samantha March did one called 2017 Rewind. I don't know if I'm going to do that one because I feel like this one that Kat tagged me in is very similar. I don't know who started this tag, but uh, I'm sure it'll it'll come back around and it'll it'll be a thing and everyone will know so without further blabbering let's get into this video okay guys so first question if you could look back on one memory from last year that you wish you could relive what would it be ooh I think my memory that I would go back and relive there were so many good ones but I want to be really specific and say just one would be my road trip with my best friend when she moved to California. So we drove from Fargo to California, which is about a 26 hour road trip. And I've never been on like a huge road trip before. So this I felt like was that like one big road trip like of your lifetime, you know, I mean, maybe we'll have kids someday and maybe we'll take this huge road trip. But I really don't see that like happening in the foreseeable future. So we called it like the great American road trip. And it was so fun. So we drove from Fargo to Denver. And most of these places I've never been to before. So we drove through like uh, South Dakota, um, Nebraska, like these states that I would probably never like make it to in my lifetime. But first night we stayed in Denver, um, downtown Colorado. So it was really, really freaking cool. I'd never been to Denver before. Shout out if you are from Denver. What a beautiful city. It was lit up for the holidays. It was fabulous. And then we drove from Denver, Colorado to Las Vegas, Nevada, and fun fact, I've never been to Vegas until then, and so that was really freaking cool, like, Vegas, it's like, it's nothing like seeing it in real life, you know, you see it in the movies, but it's not the same as experiencing it in person, so that was really kick-ass and cool, and I'm actually going back to Vegas for work this month, so I'm really, really excited to do that, and just, like, the shopping is crazy. If you've never experienced Vegas, I definitely feel like it's unbelievable. And then we did like a four hour drive from Vegas to Newport Beach, California, which is where we dropped her off. That's where she's living. And I got to see a little bit of Newport, but I was so exhausted. And then I flew back Monday. So if I could relive that, I think that would be really cool if we could take like eight other friends with us I think it would have been extra cool but it was a really special memory that I got to share with one of my oldest friends so it was very very cool and I'm happy for her and Trisha if you're watching this I wish you nothing but the best of luck she's lived there for a while now obviously we're in 2018 but it was a really cool experience to share with her so very happy for my friend next question is three words to describe last year um I think for sure gosh my life is so like um, I would say like YouTube, makeup, and uh, just like friends, I guess. I mean, I feel like I've definitely made like really big strides to being better at YouTube. And that's been like a fun goal for me and a hobby. I said in my um, Q&A video, I'm like, there's not really a lot of things I'm good at. And I feel like I love YouTube. So to throw myself into that is great. I don't drink, I don't smoke, so this is just like a really fun hobby for me. And then makeup and like friends, obviously, for me, 
it just like makes my world go around right now because it's just me and Rail and our pets. So obviously friends are a very big part of our life. So it was really fun. We got to visit a few of them. And yeah, it's just it's just a good life right now. I can be more happy with how things have turned out. Something you're looking forward to this year, um, hopefully, is to get back to Sri Lanka, which is where I'm originally from. I would love to take a trip there or South Africa, which is where my husband is from. We have this immense gift or luck that we were both born in two really kick-ass places. And before I met Rill, I had always wanted to go to Cape Town because I feel like what is cooler than being on the tip of Africa? Like, Africa is such a big continent, and then I end up marrying this guy that's from freaking Cape Town. I think that's so cool. So I'm really excited to go there, and hopefully that'll be this year. Or we'll go to Sri Lanka, which I'm so excited for him to see where I come from because he's so good at like absor absorbing culture and he's like non-judgmental and he's so cool so I'm really excited for him to hopefully we'll get to experience that so that's definitely something I am looking forward to this year. Question number four what was your most worn clothing item of last year? I think this is really funny so I'm really into fashion and stuff but it's so hard for me to find pants that fit me well so back in the day when I was in college I used to work for the store called White House Black Market. You guys might be familiar with it. It's in most malls and they make the best jeans for me and my shape and size and I've loved them and I haven't worn really any jeans from any other brand since. And so my wo most worn clothing item are these pants that they make called Ponte pants, which are basically like leggings, but they're a nice thick material. So they're really great for the winter time. I also wear them in the summertime and I literally have multiple pairs of these black leggings that I wear and they're awesome. So I'm going to link them down below or up in the cards just to do you guys a favor so you can check them out because they're awesome. I think they're more like a fall winter item so they might not be in stock or they might be being on sale right now because we're almost done with winter. Fingers crossed, not really in Fargo but in other parts of the country I know it's like a time for them to go on sale so definitely check them out they are amazing they're nice and thick they're well made and they're generally pretty affordable and I literally have I shoot you not at least 10 pairs of those pants in my closet so definitely my most worn item as you can imagine and then number five what are you hoping for less and more of this year I think I'm hoping for less um, snow I would like for us to not have a white Christmas. I would love to be warm and more, of course, nice weather. I want more travel. I want me and Rail to do more fun things. We are kind of like hermits sometimes, uh, but we also have a lot of fun when we actually get out of the house. So we'll see how that goes, but definitely just more fun, less worrying about money and just, you know, life stuff that people worry about. Just like any other young couple, we always worry about these things, but really, I mean, we have such a wonderful life. I really can't complain much about anything. Mm, number six, what did you do last year that you've never done before? I feel like I'm going to have to steal answer from... Um, one of my favorite memories, definitely the road trip. And also we did go to Texas, which is cool because Texas has always been on my bucket list. And we got to visit some friends. So we got to check out Dallas and Fort Worth, which was wonderful. I, I feel like I could live with in Texas, except for I would be so freaked out driving there. So I wouldn't want to live there, but it was very cool. And I love to travel and, uh, yeah, let me know if you guys are from Boston, if you're from New Orleans, I really want to go there, San Diego, I want to go back to San Francisco, I want to see wine country, I want to do and see so many places in the United States. So hopefully I'll get to do all of those things someday. <laughs> um, what is your biggest achievement of the year? So last year we actually bought our first home and that was really cool. I'm just like one of those people, I feel like my whole life, 
in the States has been like a vagabond lifestyle. I never owned like a bed. I always slept on an air mattress. Somebody gave me like a hand-me-down mattress, which is how I got my first real bed. But I never really had real furniture just because I didn't know like where my life was going to take me. I moved here to go to college in case you didn't know. And then once I graduated, I kind of realized I wasn't really ready to go back. So I kind of stuck around. And then I ended up getting married. And now I have this like totally permanent situation and it's crazy. So our house was awesome. I'm so glad we got the house we did. It is a twin home, so it's nothing fancy, but it's like everything we need and more. And yeah, we're really proud of it. And uh, it's really cool. I, I would love to have you guys over sometime. So let me know if you're in the neighborhood. You can always get a place to stay in Fargo if anybody feels like freezing their ass off. Uh, number eight, did your travel anywhere memorable? I feel like I already covered all of my travel from 2018. We didn't get uh, too many places, but it was our first wedding anniversary when we went to Dallas. So I told Rail it would be really cool if we could do a trip a year, um, which is basically what we can afford right now. And hopefully we'll, we'll do that we'll do that more but Dallas was really cool I wish we had gotten more time there I think that would have been really really fun number nine what were what word would you choose to represent your goals for this upcoming year I think my goals for this year are I mean I feel like they're pretty normal goals like I want to try and save more money I want to do better at YouTube I want to keep up with my uploads I want to create awesome content that's not really a word, but how do you, like, summarize that? I wouldn't say those are lofty goals. Those are just very, like, basic. Basic is the word? I don't, I don't know. That's a weird question. Now it says, any travel plans for 2018? I feel like I covered that. If you could travel anywhere, would you, where would you? I really, really want to go to Disney. I've never been. I think Disney is fun as a child. It's fun as an adult. And now that I live in America and it's the place where like magic happens or whatever their slogan is, I would really like to check it out. Also, I would really like to see Harry Potter World. Is that what it's called in Florida? I really, really want to go there as well. Also, there's like general places like Paris and the Maldives and like all these other cool exotic places as well. If you could change a bad habit, what would it be? It would be my ability to control myself when it comes to makeup. I really have a makeup hoarding problem. I buy every makeup palette. If I want it, I get it. And I need to change that about myself because I spend way too much money on makeup that I should be spending on other things. So that is definitely a bad habit I would like to change. Let me know if you feel the same way. What change would you like to see made to your home? Well, we just got our house and it's honestly in a really good place right now. The only thing I would change is like someday I hope to find a nicer house but right now it's everything we need there's nothing I would want to change about it sorry I'm really sucking at answering these questions what's the best thing you bought um this year this past year gosh that's tough um I think the best thing I've bought makeup wise is definitely the Pat McGrath eyeshadow palettes those things are amazing I can't say enough good things about them except they're amazing and I really want the one that's coming out this month as well. If you could change anything about the year you had, what would it be? I I mean, I guess I could probably say like being nicer to rail. <laughs> I, I always want to be a better wife and a better human. So just in general, you know, fight less and be more um, open to saying yes to things and not always crushing his hopes and dreams. That sounds really awful, but I swear if you're a wife, it's just like sometimes with men, it's like, did you really think that was a good idea, honey? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm going to get like owned for saying that on the internet. Okay, next question. Share something you're looking forward to this year. I am really looking forward to accomplishing some of my goals. I turned 30 this year, so it's a big year for me. I told Rail that it would be so fun if we could either take a trip for my birthday or I want to have like a dope birthday party. You know, like the, the kind the YouTubers have where they like rent out a space and they have a cute outfit. Like, of course, everything won't be sponsored for my birthday party, like Jackie Ina's birthday party, but I think that would be really cool. But I hope it's a trip because I told Rail that I, I would like to check out Disney for my birthday. I think that would be really, really magical. Oh my gosh, I already answered question number 17. How old will you turn this year? The magic dirty 30, baby. Uh, what did you, what did last year teach you? 
is that like a makeup related question? Like what did, what did YouTube teach me or just like a life? Thing. because I think just life-wise last year taught me like the internet isn't real so if you're like ever feeling like FOMO or you're feeling like everyone's life is better than yours honey it's just made up stuff like there's so many filters there's so many editing tools like nothing is really that real on the internet and <laughs> Don't beat yourself up about it. I think that's just like a good thing to know in general about life. Not everyone is like perfect and you know, everyone might seem perfect. It might seem like they have the perfect life, but everyone is struggling with something and you should never feel bad about yourself because somebody else has something that you don't. I just, I just, that's not the life I live and that's definitely something I learned more about this year. Number 19, your top five or six favorite makeup products. Okay, so the Pat McGrath palettes, <laughs> one, two, and three. No, I'm just kidding. Those. Um, the ColourPop palettes, those are amazing. I do really like the um, Huda foundation, um, Pat McGrath eyeliners, and I love, gosh, I feel like I need to look around. I've really been enjoying the Sunday Riley oils, specifically the Juno oil. I never used to be into face oils, but those oils, they turned my life around. So I'm really excited about those. Uh, and then number 20, what's some of your New Year's resolutions? Okay, let's talk about this because this is serious. So my New Year's resolutions are to try and not overeat. So only eat until I'm full. Um, and that just includes like don't overindulge because I'm really bad at like I love food so much that I'll just like eat and eat and eat and I'll eat past the point of being full and I definitely have gained a ton of weight since I moved here. I used to be so skinny you guys it's insane and so far it hasn't really affected my self-confidence and it's probably just because like I surround, surround myself with people that are nice enough where they won't make me feel bad about it. Um, I just wish there was a way I could lose weight that wasn't exercise and just like eating salad. So still looking for the magical recipe for that, but I'm just happy the way I am. But I do feel like I could just make small changes and see like big results. So I need to do that. And then of course, just being better at YouTube, trying to put out more content, sticking to my schedule, which I feel like I've done really well. I really want to grow my channel. Um, so last year my goal was a thousand and I didn't make it, but that's okay. I'm not discouraged at all. I feel like I'm going to maybe hit it by the end of January or February. So my goal for 2018 is just going to be to double that. So hit 2000, which, you know, it might happen. It might not happen, but that's okay. It's always good to have goals. I want to buy less. I want to declutter. I want to be more intentional with my purchases and what I put in this house. I feel like we've lived here for a year and I already just have so much crap. So I'm just excited. I found Poshmark. I'm excited to just like get rid of things. And yeah, I just, I'm just really excited for the year. Yeah. So I feel like those are definitely some of my goals. I have some other ones too, but yeah, just to, all around to try and be a better housewife type, not housewife, but just like one of those like super wives. Like I want my house to always be clean and I want to always be on top of laundry and stuff like that. I've definitely not mastered that because I'm freaking lazy. Okay. Like, I don't know how people do it. Like, do you guys follow this blogger? Her name is Pink Peonies and like her house is like always immaculate. Like she lives in like a muck mansion. She has two kids and she's like always like immaculately dressed. She has a gorgeous house, gorgeous family always on point, works out. I'm like, how do people find the energy to do that? Like, I feel like I need, I deserve a gold star when I make it to work on time. You know what I mean? So just all around to be like a more efficient person is one of my new year's resolutions. Yeah, that's it. I got through all 20 questions. Hopefully I'll remember to leave the questions in the description box, but I'm gonna go ahead and tag all of you in this new year's tag and I would love to see your answers. Also, I really quick do want to mention, I do have a giveaway going on on my channel. The link to that video is down in the description box. So please, please go ahead and enter. I'd love one of my subscribers to win that giveaway. I don't want it to just be somebody that just like wandered onto my channel, which is why I don't have giveaway anywhere in the title or anything like that. But yeah, I hope you guys 
enjoyed this and I hope you guys are gonna have an awesome year ahead it's never too late to you know start a new habit or start something new and yeah I hope you guys have a great year and we'll catch you on the next one bye guys <laughs>